your bag. Leave your answers on your desk. Table one and two, come back to your carpet seat. Table three and four, carpet seat. Table three and four, carpet seat. Thank you, Brian. Brian. Could you please stand up and try that again, please, sir? Thank you. Show me the correct way to walk to the carpet. Five and six, carpet seat. Creating your own graphs. Yes. yes. Did we have fun doing that? Yes. yes. Awesome. So let's talk about what we did. You first sorted your information, correct? You put them in the categories. Then you graphed it on the chart, and then we interpreted the data. The interpreting part was answering the questions, finding out which one had the most which one had the least, and how many completed the survey altogether. Um, Felania, would you mind going and getting me your um, answer card, and could you please talk about what you discovered and what y'all interpreted about your data? <coughs> would you come and stand right over here? My fingers face this way. Okay. So what was your graph about what was the title of your graph? My title of my graph was about how do we look at grasses. Favorite favorite sea creatures. All right, so they had favorite sea creatures. So what did you find out about favorite sea creatures? Who had which had the most votes? Octopus, ooh. Which one had the least? The blowfish and the crab. Oh, so they had two categories that had the least amount of votes. And how many people completed the survey altogether? So what I did was I counted the octopuses together and the blowfish and the crabs, and then it became to like 17. 17. So they had 17 votes all together for their graph on the people that voted. So good job. I love that. I was very proud of the work that y'all did together. You were taking turns, doing your job, helping your friends out, and I am very proud of y'all. I was very, very impressed. So I have some questions to ask y'all now. What kind of jobs do you think that you would need to use graphs with. Does anybody know what kind of jobs you might need to use graphs for? What do you think, London? You think, I think that you got a, a colored in? Well, well, what kind of job? Like, Miss Lori works at a school, that's my job. What kind of jobs do you think you would need to use a graph? A store. A store? How would you, what would you need to use the graph in a store for? What do you think? For like buying stuff? I think that is very smart, London. That's right. The people who own a store, maybe they need to know how many cookies they need to buy. Packages of cookies. So I would think they would probably make a graph and see how many people are buying cookies or maybe what types of cookies they need to buy so that they know we need to order more chocolate chip cookies and not as many peanut butter cookies. So that's a good one, London, I love that. Are there any other jobs that you can think of that maybe you would need to use graphs, Aiden? Um, food place. Food places, like, like McDonald's or something? Yeah, probably so. Maybe they need to find out what kinds of things they wanna sell and they're gonna make a graph to kind of track and see what kind of things they want to, maybe more Happy Meals or more special sandwiches or something. What about another one, Landon? 
people who work at a restaurant, yeah. So people who work with food, they probably do use graphs a lot. You know another job that we use graphs a lot? Teachers. Teachers have to use graphs a lot to be able to track your data. We take, we take tests and me and Ms. Calhoun, we look to see how well you're doing and what things that we need to do to help y'all. So graphs are very important. We use them in a lot of things um, in the real world. So I want you to um, brainstorm a job that you think they use graphs for. Brainstorm. I want you to touch hands with your partner. All right, we're going to touch hands with a partner, and I want you to share a job that you think they would use graphs for. Friend with the longest hair go first. Ready, set, teach. Okay. Thank you. 